Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a quick way to improve color, uh, almost pastel-like, but then to manage it back to something that's usable. So all we do is we go to Layer, and New Fill Layer here, and then I'm going to go to the Blend Mode over here, and go down all the way to Saturation. It starts off as black and white, and actually this is a quick way to convert to black and white as well. And it's quite a good conversion because it does perceptual colours effectively. And all I do is go back up here to the colour here. And now I'm going to just take one of these, actually it doesn't matter which one, and turn it down and colour starts to appear. And the more you go down, the more colour you get. Until around about halfway, you're, you're getting a pretty pastely strong saturation effect here. And the more you go down, the more it gets. So you can use that as an effect. So you can tint it uh, a black and white picture gently, or you can come all the way down here. Then you can control it using the opacity. So I come over here, and if I bring opacity down, it reduces that effect. Generally around 50% or so, or even below, is uh, not bad. Particularly if you want to get a strong colouring effect. But then some areas like this might go rather mm, unusual. So you can mask things in or out. So for example, I can go to that fill layer and click on the mask layer down here, which adds a mask. It's starting off with a white mask. Um, now if I want to just take areas out, I can paint black on it or in, go back to the beginning and paint the areas in. I'm going to use um, white on black. So let's hit Control i to invert the mask. So I've taken the effect all off. But now I go to a paintbrush tool. I'm going to paint white onto it. So where am I here? Let's make that white. And opacity 100%. Hardness about 12. That'll do. It's just something low. And we're effectively going to paint this back in again. So I'm just going to paint, for example, on that tree there. That brings in that Nice improvement in colour there. This one up here. No, I'm just going to hit Control Z to undo. I'm going to leave that one. This one here. I can paint the top of this. I can do it more carefully with selections and so on. Maybe a bit in the grass here. That's nicer as well. You see, I can. It's like a torchlight as I roll over the top of it and decide what to do. Let's do this one here. And oh yes, let's have those flowers come in brightly as well. So there you go, very, very quickly, very easily, a way to perk up colours and, you know, even to a pastel level. And you can redo those, go back up to that fill layer, and I can still change that area that I selected there if I'm going to make them all a bit brighter. I could play with a lower opacity brush and paint different areas in at a different level. And when I go to the fill layer there, if I click on the move tool, I can go back to that, up to that fill there and play with the amount of this, that's the effect here. So there we go. Quick and easy, colour brightening, almost pastel, just like that. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching.